Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Drew Martin, joined by Brian Leonard and Marco, Marco D'Angelo from wagertalk.com. Guys, we're talking East Region NCAA tournament round one game here, the 314 matchup. Marco, we got Texas minus eight and a half point favorites here. Abilene versus Abilene Christian, 140 and a half being the total. You liking anything here? Number three versus number 14 in the East Region? Yeah, this is going to be a tough one uh, to get to the window uh, to play uh, because looking on paper, you, know, you really don't want to do it. But I got to take the dog here and a couple reasons. One, let's go to Texas. And there's no question uh, winning the Big 12 Conference Championship was a big deal for Texas. They rolled. They beat Oklahoma State in the final. They did have an advantage in that game where their game the day before got canceled because uh, the situation with Kansas. So they got a free square into the championship game where Oklahoma State was coming off battling Baylor and everybody to get there. And, you know, if you look back at Oklahoma State, they had a murderous two-week schedule uh, of games that they had, a bunch of wars. And I just thought that it was finally going to take its toll. And I rode Texas. One of the other reasons that I rode Texas in that game is I put a lot of times Guys know they're going to the big dance. They really don't care about the conference tournament. But I thought Texas really wanted that because if you remember earlier in the season, there were some rumblings down there that uh, Shaka Smart might be on the hot seat. Uh, the alumni, you know, they're spoiled in Texas. They think they should have national championships in every sport. And uh, I think that he really wanted this uh, conference tournament. And maybe they left a little bit on that floor in the Big 12 uh, conference title game and come out here a little bit sluggish. Nobody's going to be flat for the big dance. Don't get me wrong. But you might not be as mentally focused as you should be. And then now let's flip to uh, their opponent. This is as big as it gets for them. You make the big dance. Not only do you make the big dance, but you get to play the big gun from the state. You're the little brother taking on big brother. You're going to be sky high. And sorry, guys, I got to use this pun, but it is their one shining moment for Abilene Christian. And I am going to ride that emotion here uh, with them, and I'm going to split my wager up. I'm going to take first half Abilene Christian and take them for the game. Uh, I think you got a good shot of cash in that first half ticket if Texas does come out uh, a little bit sluggish and flat. And then, of course, We've seen it. The longer you let a dog hang around, the more confidence they get, and they can hang on for the full game cover as well. So split up my wager, half a unit, both ways, uh, first half and full game, but I'm taking the dog with Abilene Christian. All right, Brian. You, you like where Marco's going with this? You think the dog's got a shot here? I mean, the Southland Conference wasn't very strong this year, but 23-4 and four is a pretty impressive record here for Abilene Christian. Yeah, it definitely is. And you always have to take it with a grain of salt, depending on the strength of schedule here. So I'll give you some pretty nice numbers for Abilene Christian, but just remember they played lesser opposition. Um, I also agree with Marco. I think there's two ways to play this game. Uh, the first one will be the total. Uh, you take a look at uh, adjusted tempo. Uh, Texas is 133. Abilene Christian's 90. Free throw rate, which is basically the free throw rate defense. Neither team is very good defensively in that regard. They sent the opposition to the foul line all the time. Abilene Christian, 334th, and Texas, 291st. So there'll be a lot of free throws here. Uh, they're both fast-paced game. Uh, I think this game goes over. But what I do like better is the side, and I am in agreement on the Wildcats of Abilene Christian. Uh, this is a team for has to me has a major turnover advantage here. Uh, they actually rank number one in the country in defensive turnover rating uh, percentage. And you take a look at uh, Texas; they're 240th offensively, so they will turn the ball over. And as we've watched Texas implode on many occasions this year, uh, this is a team you could never trust with a lead. Uh, we're also looking at the assist rate. I think the assist rate is really important here. Uh, the assist rate for the Wildcats of Abilene Christian. 66.9% of their plays, uh, their shots are from being uh, caused by an assist, second in the nation. And you take a look at the assist rate for Texas, 221st. So I would much rather have a team that passes the ball around than a team with Texas 
that tries to win with athleticism. Uh, in this high-scoring game, I like Abilene Christian. I'm going to put a little, as our friend uh, VR used to say, sprinkle. I think you can sprinkle a little bit out here if the refs gives them a chance. Uh, you always have to be concerned about that because they never seem to give a break to the little guys when it comes to these tournaments. But I think the dog is live here, and this is one of my better plays for playing an underdog with a chance, I think, that has has a chance to actually advance to the next round. All right, good stuff, Brian. And, and just a follow-up here to that sprinkle on the money line, is that something – you would kind of do across the board, maybe like bowl season, you know, in college football. If you like the underdog plus the points, sprinkle a little something on the uh, money line in round one. Well, college football bowl season is a little bit different because you have certain teams that wanted to go to a bigger bowl. This is the big bowl for college basketball. Nobody's going to turn down a spot in the NCAA tournament. So you have that going for you here. So you just got to be able to pick and choose your spots. And, you know, most people have not seen Abilene Christian play all season long. They see Texas play all the time on TV. They know Texas. They see them less than a double-digit favorite. They'll be looking to play Texas, which gives us an advantage in this game. And, and Marco, any any quick thoughts on that, you know, round one, if you like the dog sprinkling something on the money line? Absolutely. Uh, you know, any time that you're picking an underdog, you've got to give that team a shot that you think they can win the game. Uh, you don't want to be always counting on the point spread because, as we've seen so often in sports, the point spread a lot of times just doesn't matter. It's the team that wins the game uh, covers the point spread. We see that more in football, obviously. But, uh, yes, in here, this is a shot. You always see those. Uh, you'll see a couple first-round upsets. It happens all the time. You don't want to be sitting there with that one that you had, and you don't have that money line uh, ticket in your pocket for a little bit. Sure. Abilene Christian, uh, plus the points here, guys, the size eight and a half as we're talking now, a team that played Texas Tech and Arkansas tough, two uh, teams from the Power Five Conference. So the Abilene Christian Wildcats is what they are. Maybe worth it. Worth a look here. Money line and uh, plus the points. Brian, Marco, great nuggets there, guys. Check them both out at wagertalk.com. MM50 is the coupon code, guys. Special coupon code here for $50 off the March Madness package. Good for any handicapper at wagertalk.com. Brian and Marco being great choices. So check them both out at wagertalk.com.